Hi everyone, my name is Matt Homewood and today I'd like to talk to you about dumpster diving and this right here, the global food waste fiasco. Did you know that between a third and a half of all food produced on this planet goes to waste every single year. When I first heard this statistic a few years ago, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, a third, a half. I mean, that is just crazy. That's 3.3 trillion pounds of food or 1.5 trillion kilograms of food. I mean, it's astounding. And it's a true reminder that the global industrial food system is out of control. And so that's why I started my project called An Urban Harvester to reveal supermarkets' dirty secrets. Every single day for the year of 2019, I would visit my three local supermarket dumpsters, see what I could find, harvest that, bring the harvest home, lay it out in a photograph, share that photo on Instagram. And that's how these 62 organic plant milks have ended up right here on my dinner table in the heart of Denmark's capital, Copenhagen. But let's retrace the journey of how these milks got into my apartment in the first place. So you can see what I got up to last year. Come, follow me, let's go. I'm going to go dumpster diving by bicycle because Copenhagen is one of those European cities that's seriously densely built, which means that everyone cycles almost everywhere all the time. And so what that means for me and my supermarket mission is that there are a lot of small supermarkets to choose from here. And that means a lot of dumpster diving possibilities. So, off we go. When I'm out dumpster diving, I don't always walk back. Uh, I normally cycle, but when it's a harvest this big, and especially in the back, uh, I'm just gonna walk this one home. That was a big old harvest. I'm gonna start lining these up on the dinner table to take a photograph. So one of the main goals of this project is to bring all this supermarket food waste to life. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, well, this is probably a one-off, right? No, these 62 organic plant milks are not a one-off. Look at this harvest from just a few days ago, 42 tomato paste. And the thing is, they're absolutely perfect. You know, just a few of these straight from Italy in Southern Europe. And when you think about the food, the metal, the plastic, the fossil fuels, it's crazy. And the thing is, now we're going to check out some of my harvests from last year. And I think the biggest and most memorable one was when I got 157 packs of bacon. That's 16 kilos, 35 pounds of pig meat that was just lying in my lounge. I worked out that that was bacon from five pigs worth. And that was truly remarkable. I've had sausages. I've had so much meat in here. I've had bananas, fruit, vegetables. You name it, it's been in here. And it's all come from my three supermarket local dumpsters. So here's the question. Is Copenhagen unique? Far from it. I got introduced to the world of dumpster diving three years ago by my good friend Rob when I cycled across America with him and 30 other people doing the Green Riders trip. And I vividly remember taking that first dive in New Jersey. 
We got gallons and gallons of orange juice, pounds and pounds of almonds. And I just couldn't believe it. And during that trip is when the scale of this problem truly set in. So if all this food waste from supermarkets is happening right here in Copenhagen, one of the world's most sustainable cities, just imagine what's happening in the rest of the world. In 2019, the United Nations estimated that 690 million people suffered from hunger at one stage or another. Three billion people can't afford nutritious food on a daily. Meanwhile, supermarkets in the West are dumping out perfectly edible food en masse. This is just completely crazy. 600 million kilos of food in Denmark is dumped out by supermarkets every single year in this country alone. So what can we as consumers do about this monumental issue? Well, there are a few options at our disposal. I mean, the thing is, when it comes to supermarkets, there are many other businesses that sell food and perhaps they're more ethical. You can go to zero waste food shops. You can try and go to local farmers markets. You can sign up to community supported agricultural schemes where consumers are linked up to producers. You can go foraging, you can go dumpster diving. And so if you're keen to support me on this quest, please consider following my page on Instagram. The handle is Anna and Harvester. And together we can put more pressure on governments to end this supermarket food waste once and for all. Thank you very much for watching this video and I wish you a good rest of your day.